In the previous video, we have seen how algebra makes our life very easy. It helps us write long phrases in a very short way using variables. That's the beauty of algebra. How do we write the sum of 3 and 7 using numbers? We just write it as 3 plus 7. Let me modify the question a bit. How do we write the sum of a number and 7? Since this number is unknown, we use a variable in its place and write it as x plus 7. Both these are called expressions. As this involves only numbers, it's called a numerical expression. And because it involves variables, it's called an algebraic expression. Now look at this line. Sum of a number and 7 equals 12. Now it gets interesting. Let's break it into parts. Sum of a number and 7. It can be written as x plus 7. Equals 12 can be written as equal to 12. We wrote this phrase as x plus 7 equals 12. Is this an expression? No, that's not the case. This is called an equation since it has an equal to sign. It's called so because we are equating two sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. What are the different parts of an equation? This is called the variable, that is we are expected to find. And these two numbers are called constants as their value remains constant. There are also operators like addition and subtraction. So these are the important parts of an equation. Remember, the equal to sign divides the equation into two sides, the left hand side and the right hand side.